Hello, this message goes out to Ray Comfort. I have a question that uh, some of us actually wanted to know. The Trinity Broadcast Network, you and Kirk Cameron are associated with the Trinity Broadcast Network, TBN. I was wondering, because you... You go on the streets and you preach the gospel telling people to repent. I, I've done that myself. I was wondering, do you also tell the people who, who are the false prophets and the false teachers on TBN uh, to repent? That they need to turn away from their sins, that they need to, to follow the, 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 the way of the cross, the gospel of Jesus Christ and Him dying crucified and burying and, and rose again the third day, seated now right at the right hand of the Father. Because there's a lot of people on TBN who are after people's money. All they want is people's donations. So they'll tell people to uh, they can live a, a happy life or whatever. I know that legal there's legal documentation that, that only allows you to do so much, but you teamed up with a network that that has a lot of false teachers, a lot of false prophets, a whole lot of false prophets. They invite a lot of false teachers and false prophets onto their show. They invite a lot of people with these false visions and false dreams, which which uh, the Bible says test all things to Scripture, and they're proven wrong time after time. Um, there's a lot of leaven in the Trinity Broadcast Network. What do you do about this? I know, and it's a jam-packed message or, or a question. But all in all, uh, what is your view on TBN? And do you tell the people who are in sin and TBN to repent just as you do on the streets when you go to open air preach? Thank you. Christ Jesus bless your ministry. And, and uh, glad to hear your response. All right, bye.